Hey, it's Chicken Plays. Welcome to my Pokemon Unite video. Many of you have been watching me for my Pokemon Masters uh, content, but it's time to start something a little fresh, especially if you are starting Pokemon Unite on the Nintendo Switch or if you're starting Pokemon Unite soon to be on the mobile devices. So I hope this video will help everyone and anyone. And of course, there are plenty of Pokemon Unite uh, videos and guides out there, especially for beginners and advanced. But I just wanted to take this time to share 10 basic tips in Pokemon Unite. Once you go in, right, and you, you know, pick your starter, I would say the first uh, tip number one is to practice that starter Pokemon or your other Pokemon in the arena or standard play, which I will also be going into as a way for me to help, to help myself, but also help you understand the tips when playing and soloing. So click practice and go through the tutorial. Learn the rules and basic controls. I won't click this, but this is a, a tutorial that you should definitely go uh, into. And then hit that practice area after. Practice battling with the chosen Pokemon. All right, so tip number two save your coins do missions each week i cannot stress this enough as a free to play player and you're going to be getting a limited amount of coins per week now it's around 2000 you could correct me but like around 2000 ish coins per week and you'll have a limited amount of energies which i can get to a little bit of energy rewards per week so these energy rewards will grant you uh, different types of fashion wear, hollow wares, and one of them right now is a really dope Talon Flame uh, skin. And of course, other rewards which are very important, such as AOS coins for purchasing Unite licenses, which are new Pokemon, uh, AOS tickets, which are obtained uh, through rank match sessions as well as from other events and rewards so you want to make use of these energy rewards so uh, save your coins because in the AEOS shop or the Emporium I don't want to say the AEOS but this is the shop right this is like the second icon or you know third icon however you want to look at it in the middle of where I'm where the arrow is pointing right now this shop uh, have has Unite licenses okay and they cost coins so I'm gonna move this right here so you can see they cost coins and uh, you know Snorlax if you didn't uh, start with him as a starter will cost 6,000 coins Pikachu will cost 6,000 coins and of course throughout the seasons there will be probably new Pokemon you can see that it becomes a little more expensive and you're limited to how many coins you can uh, earn per week now uh, you can look up, I'm sure, more, plenty of guides on uh, which one you would like to go for. But the idea here is to save your coins, save your tickets as well, you know, for certain items in the Emporium. So, yeah, there are fashion items right now as well. But I would say that um, I would save your tickets and your coins for especially items that are you quite useful which I will get into after this tip all right so uh, these are what you can find in the shop and of course uh, there are going to be major events so do these events you can read throughout what you need to do quick battles intense battle training the game just released please 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 go into this a commemorative release gift seven days since release 14 days since release these are quite a nice way of of you getting started and uh, getting uh, specific uh, rewards throughout Pokemon Unite okay so that would be my tip um, I think there are challenges as well okay so beginner challenges which end in from this video five days so that's quite big uh, definitely do these challenges for more rewards and fashionable items. Okay, tip number three, invest in important items. Now, you can earn items uh, based on your trainer level. I um, Let me show you what I mean. 
So as long as you continue to play Pokemon Unite, there will be certain items that you will be receiving. A level f trainer level 4, Potion. Then a trainer level 7, you get this, uh, I believe, X attack. Then you get X speed. Um, trainer level 11. Put this on your Pokemon. Alright? Eject button. Definitely get the eject button. It is going to be super useful from fleeing. And you'll be able to see that in the upcoming battle. So eject button is going to uh, really help in getting away from opponents when you're in a dire situation or need to run. So definitely invest in... Uh, well, make sure to definitely invest in battles and going towards uh, receiving this item All right so and another item that I want to be able to or here are a couple items that I want to be able to share with you okay uh, scope lens okay definitely purchase scope lens so scope lens is right here it increases the critical hit damage and I would suggest maximizing this over time. Scope Lens is quite useful for critical hit rates. Another item that I would definitely invest in is Muscle Band. Muscle Band increases basic attack damage. Another item that I would definitely recommend in increasing uh, and leveling up in terms of upgrading. And more on how to do that in the future if you'd like to see more of this uh, as well. Another item that I see most people grabbing onto, and it's not bad, but I wish I haven't invested in, uh, in is Floatstone. Uh, it's not as bad as most people uh, would want to include, but I would suggest another item aside from Floatstone, Buddy Barrier. So as a free-to-play player, Buddy Barrier is super important because uh, over the duration of a battle, you're going to end up... Uh, having to use a Unite move. So once you use your Unite move, it grants a shield to the Pokemon and to the nearby ally Pokemon with the lowest HP when the Pokemon uses its Unite. So I would invest in Body Barrier, upgrade this, it gives you more HP for survivability and on top of that uh, it has the ability to grant a shield for you and your ally especially when you're trying to go for let's say Dreadnought or Zapdos, right? Definitely uh, grant this, or even or even trying to push in uh, certain situations in, in terms of scoring goals. So Buddy Barrier is a must. Um, you know, let me know in the comment section what you definitely invested in and what you wish you didn't uh, purchase, especially if you're free to play and haven't spent a dime on this game. So tip number four, know your role know your role right that comes with experience and playing but sometimes it's necessary to adjust to other people's roles when you're uh, starting in a standard or ranked match right so i'm gonna ready up soloing q into a match so i'm going to take wigglytuff with me but if you take a look closely at the uh, players that are here They've already adjusted well enough. We are missing an all-around right now for Team Synergy, which you can see on the, the right side. But for the most part, you want to uh, be able to adjust. I'm going to recommend myself going down for bottom, but that it that can vary. The bottom math path can vary. Uh, somebody might go top. You might want to support with an attack or speed and or what have you but speedsters usually go around the central area so i would suggest if you are a speedster like zorora go the center area and jungle now uh it's also important to uh make sure you split and not have like three people go top three people go bottom i'd say two top two bottom and a jungler a jungler can be like cinderace it can be an all-around, so with some exceptions. But I would say if you're like a Snorlax or a Wigglytuff, don't be go don't be jungling. Let the other players do so. Crustle uh, should be defending, 
But let's see where they go off to. So there are 10 minutes per battle, especially in standard. I'm gonna go down here. It looks like uh, this uh, score bunny is jungling, which is actually pretty good. I'm gonna be supporting with this Cramorant here. Now, take note that you wanna start off with a basic attack so that we can fight. Uh, Audino spawn here. Uh, you can go for this Audino right away, uh, be, but be careful because the other opponents might be going for that Audino as well. So if that happens, I would try to go for their Audino, which is right over here, but they've already gotten that Audino. All right, tip number five, hide in the bushes. I did not realize how important this was when I first started playing Pokemon Unite. You can hide from the enemy team and not let them know where they are all right so i can see that this jigglypuff is has hidden already and i can start with a surprise attack right now so uh they're in kind of in trouble um but they look it looks like they actually went right into their base but hey we were able to to get a head start here all right and here's my other tip, uh, and I'm going to get ahead of myself here. Tip number uh, six, time the Pokemon spawns, right? So around around 8.50, 8.50, the uh, Combi and Vespican uh, spawn. So you want to take note of when they spawn in the game so that way you can gain more experience so experience is definitely important and will def it will help push with your team so that make sure to know when pokemon spawn okay tip number seven be flexible all right and fight battles when necessary don't forget the objective all right so uh the objective is to score on the enemy team's goal i would suggest even um like when fighting to gain experience definitely go ahead and gain experience right and don't get into a fight that you might not be able to actually win now dreadnought just spawned and that's another one here so i would say uh, right now, the other team is doing a really good job of having the to be able to have at least three people come together and get Dreadnought. Now, Dreadnought is being attacked right now. I might not be able to get it. It looks like the opposing po opponents did, which actually is an advantage for them. So, unfortunately, when I was looking over and seeing that they were getting uh, Dreadnought, it was it was a lost cause there so i'm gonna go to the top now and focus on rotom our our bottom is in trouble unfortunately however there is rotom up here that can be able to uh be quite useful for uh distraction and also for more experience so the game isn't over just yet even if they got dreadnought so don't stop surrendering you guys it's not over um we can still fight this I was able to score there as a distraction. The Rotom is moving quite nicely. Uh, and it looks like we can be able to take down the opponents here. Rotom and Dredna spawn at 7 minutes. If you're wondering, in case you've been wanting 7 minutes into the game. Or actually 7 minutes at the start. And once you see 7 minutes, go for Dredna or Rotom. Alright, tip number 8. Don't go alone, right? Don't go alone. Sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, it's pretty much a high risk, high reward. Sometimes to sneak in a a, uh, a score. But chances are you want to be able to push. Uh, and be, if you see an opponent that's weak, go for it. You know, like. And if you see that, uh, that your ally is in need. And you saw that Ninetales right now. That just pretty much... Uh, couldn't help herself come go in go in and help the more the merrier it's a team effort in this case a tip that I recommend is also checking the map 
this is an extra bonus checking the map so you hold that L button and use the right analog I would check when you're in the bush or something so no one's attacking Zapdos right now tip number 10 the last two minutes of standard or rank play means everything in quick battle it's one minute all points are doubled once you score and Zapdos spawns so you need to be watching out for Zapdos throughout the rest of the game so if you happen to see that the opponents are attacking Zapdos, now's your chance for your, you and your team to push. Uh, make sure you emote and or let them know to gather that Zapdos is at the center being attacked. And if no one's attacking Zapdos, watch your goal. There will be certain players reaching and sneaking for your goal, especially if you believe you're winning with, let's say, all four uh, scored goals uh, remaining while... Uh, it's easy for you to believe that you're winning, yet the opponents might come in and sneak in 50 points or 25 points that they were saving for the last few minutes. All right. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these 10 basic tips in Pokemon Unite, especially when you're getting started um, as a free-to-play player and not wanting to spend a dime. And um, let me know in the comments section uh, if you'd like to see more. Uh, Pokemon Unite videos I'll be happy to share as much as I can and um, let me and if you want to share some of your tips as well in the comments I'd love to uh, read them and I'd love to uh, incorporate them and uh, talk about them let me know any suggestions and I will catch you all next time I'll see you in the next video